the real fascinating character, the character that really makes the movie is, is, is the villain. And why is that? Because he's got some base emotion, some experience, some PTSD, something he's really fucking angry about that's fueling his creativity. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, sometimes I experience the feeling of resentment or deep hatred, most notably with respect to not only women, but people in general. <laughs> The moments when I recall that most of the world is corrupt and weak, I get a sort of feeling that can be described as red pill rage. Are such aggressive feelings towards other normal? If not, how can one eliminate them? I'm not going to judge it as whether or not it's normal or not. I'm going to ask you if it's resourceful or not. Is it normal? Well, yeah, maybe it's normal. If something happens, somebody irritates you, you get angry and aggressive. You could call that normal, right? It's a normal reaction, but is it helpful? Is it resourceful? Is it getting you to where you want to be? Is it an anchor? Is it holding you down? Is it fucking up your vibes, right? So you got to ask yourself whether or not this is fueling me in a, fueling me in a creative way. Sometimes fear, sometimes anger, sometimes these base emotions give you power, right? If you watch marvel movies or comic books right the most interesting characters in these movies are the are the villains the villain is always interesting because he's more interesting than the good guy the hero because the hero's just he's just doing stuff because it's his duty right it's call of duty i gotta do what i'm called to do it's the right thing to do and he's working from high ideals which is great, which is nice, right? He comes to the rescue of others because justice, right? But the real fascinating character, the character that really makes the movie is, is, is the villain. And why is that? Because he's got some base emotion, some experience, some PTSD, something he's really fucking angry about that's fueling his creativity. And the more creative that super villain is, the more you love him. Super villains are the best characters in movies because their creativity is fueled by this, by this anger or this sadness or some aggressive feeling in their body. And it makes them, it makes them incredibly uh, interesting. It makes them incredibly successful. It makes them relentless, right? And so I think we could fuel, I think that can happen to us too. I think we could turn it and transmutate it and allow it to fuel our success, right? You see things in the world that you don't like, and I do too. But the difference between me and you is that I use it, I allow it to fuel me. Like, you know, we're going on three hours here, me sitting here talking to you guys, doing my best, but why? Because I wanna see the world be a better place because it's corrupt and weak, like you say. These men need me, right? So I, I gotta keep going. I'm fueling it, I'm fueling something good with some base emotion. So it could go either way. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.